Stay in line. Brattleboro, Vermont. Um, this is my motorcycle shop. We work on all kinds of bikes here. Old, new, broken, all of them, every single one. No uh, prejudice of any size or, or make. Uh, sometimes we put these old motorcycles together for people. Sometimes we work on modern bikes, scooters, anything. Airplanes, as you can see over there by that pile of airplane parts. Uh, a lot of this stuff we do is Harley Davidson stuff, but not all of it. I mean, there's a lot of Japanese bikes to go through here too. But I have all, you know, I have a little milling machine, lathe in the back, a, a TIG welder, so you can weld aluminum or stainless steel or anything like that. We do everything in house. I don't send anything out of any kind. True wheels, balance wheels, everything. You know, just have some presses. Um, here's the problem. This engine. The bottom of this engine is for a 1970 to a 1984 Harley Davidson. The top of the engine is for a 36 to a 47. So the camshafts are different and uh, I haven't had any luck getting anybody to make me one or it's going to take a while. This is the 36 to 47 camshaft. This is the 1970 to 84 camshaft. And the placement is basically the same physically except for the placement of these two center lobes is in a different position. So it's in the engine that the rollers that actually ride on the camshaft aren't all, all the way onto the lobe. So what we're going to do is anneal this cam and cut this off and then I'm going to machine this end so that it presses on this camshaft and makes it be this camshaft. And then I can use that cam in that bike. I hope. But we're going to have fire and flame. What we're going to do is heat this cam camshaft up to a, it's very hard now. You can take a, a file and you can't file it. So it's, it'd be really hard to machine it. So what we're going to do is heat this up to a dull red color. Put it in this uh, speedy dry. You can use sand also, but I'm use, using speedy dry because that's what I have here. And then uh, once it's at that color, I put it in there and then cover it up and then it slows down. I mean, it, it cools down very slowly and it, it actually anneals it so it's soft enough so we can cut this. And then I can machine the end of this inside, bore it to fit on that other camshaft. And uh, so let's try it. This is a oops, it's what's called a rosebud makes a lot of heat thing will start to change color as it as it gets hotter but what we're looking for is that just nice dull cherry red hot and you want to heat it all the way through down this cooling process and then once all the machine work is done we'll reverse it heat it back up and then uh, I'll quench it in some water so it's hard so that you can file it you take a file you can actually file it so it's now soft enough so we can machine it so we can go over to Lester's buddy across the street cut this off in his big power hacksaw and uh, I'll put it in my lathe and face it off and uh, bore the hole out so that'll press on there. Way over the 
Lester's. Lester's is the coolest place. 1922, I think he said. His grandfather opened it up. Really cool spot. And he also makes the world's best donuts. I hear him out on his tool. He's out on his tool. This is Lester, maker of the world's best donuts. <laughs> He's the local machine shop guy, 1922. Look at the ceiling, all the machinery runs on belts. It's just like the way it always was, 1922, right? You wanna attempt cutting that off? Sure. Anyway. Ready? Ready. Where you want it. That's it, that's perfect. I'll have to have enough here to machine off the back of it. There's nobody in, from OSHA here, right? No. So we can grab that, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's the man. Make it shorter. Thank you, Lester. He's the guy. So now we just step up to this antique machinery here. 1944, Navy surplus lathe. We have to wind up facing this off way back there, but we left enough metal so we can do that. Just, I'll, I'll face this off to the right length and then we'll bore the hole so that it's, uh, we'll press over to that other cam. So anyway, that's what's gonna wind up happening. I'll just keep doing that down to, the, to that section there. And we'll bore this hole. You can actually see the hardness on the outside there. And we'll wind up pressing this onto this knucklehead camshaft, uh, the earlier one, so it fits in that engine. And say la vie. It actually goes in this motorcycle, and that seems it's mine, that will be quite a good thing. Well, my shop's just this little hole in the wall here, it's 1,100 square feet. Um, it's full of people's dreams, all kinds of people's dreams, and loves, more importantly. a lot of stuff. Uh-oh. Pay your electric bill.